In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a slicer to filter two pivot tables based on different data sources. So you can download this file from the link in the description of this video. I've got three sheets. I've got sales data and I've got returns data. And then I've got another sheet called regions. Now this sheet must contain all the unique values that you want to appear in your slicer. So we'll start off by creating that table. So if I go to the sales sheet, I'm going to select all of the regions, copy, paste them in here. And then if I go to the data tab on my ribbon and go up to remove duplicates and then just click on OK. Second step is to house all of your data in all of these sheets in Excel tables. To do that, you just click in any cell within the data, and then you go up to the Insert tab on your ribbon, and you have this Table button. Alternatively, you can click into any cell, and then use the shortcut key, Control T. Click on OK, and then what you want to do is give the table a name. So I'll just call this one Sales. And then we're going to do exactly the same for returns. Click into cell, control T. Returns. And then lastly, exactly the same for region. I'll call this one regions. Now the next step is to create a pivot table for the sales data and a pivot table for the returns data. So I'll start off with the sales data. Click somewhere in our table, insert pivot table. We want to place the pivot table on a new worksheet and we need to add it to the data model. So it's created a new sheet, sheet one, and I'm just gonna move this to the end of the workbook and I'll call this reports. This pivot table is going to contain a list of branches. So I'll go over here in the pivot tables list, tick branches, but I want a count of transactions within each branch. So I'm going to drag branch into the values area and that will give me a count. Let's just create new column headings. Branch number of transactions. Now I'm going to name this pivot table and I can do that up on the ribbon. I'm on the pivot table analyze tab. I'll call this branch sales. And now I'm going to do exactly the same for the returns data. So I click in any cell insert pivot table. I'm going to put it on an existing worksheet, but I do need to add this also to the data model. I'm going to put it on the same sheet as my previous pivot table. And in this pivot table, I need a list of branches again and a count of transactions. Branch number of transactions. I'll call this pivot table branch returns. Now we don't need to create a pivot table for the region data, but we do need to create a slicer based on that table. So I need to click into one of the pivot tables to create a slicer. I go to analyze, pivot table analyze at the top there, insert slicer. Now you need to click on all at the top here so you can see all of the tables in your data model. And then under regions, tick the region field click on OK, and you will now have a slicer with all of those region values. Now at the moment, if I click on one of these regions, it's not filtering either of these pivot tables. And that's because there is no relationship for Excel to recognize between these three tables, the sales table, the returns table, and the regions table. Now, if I click somewhere in one of these pivot tables, 
and I'll go up to the Analyze tab at the top here. You can see you've got a little Relationships button. So if I click on that and then click on New, what I need to do is say that the Sales table is related to the Regions table via the Region column. And then I need to do the same thing for the Returns table related to the Regions table via the Region column. And then I can close this Manage Relationships dialog box. Now you can see already that I've got Ireland selected here and it's filtered this pivot table. If I selected North, it would filter again, but it's not filtering the other pivot table. So the last step is to right click in your pivot table, go to Report Connections, and you need to make sure that both these pivot tables are selected here or ticked here. You can see why it's quite useful to name your pivot tables because those names appear in this Report Connections dialog box. If I click on OK, you can see that this slicer now filters both of the pivot tables. OK. Hopefully that's useful. Thanks very much for listening. If you've enjoyed it, found it useful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next video.